Hey, golf. Happy toast. That's an interesting control scheme. Square and circle to strafe. Triangle to jump. Huh. I have fun looking at different control schemes sometimes. Just seeing what there is to see. No, it's not different from normal. I've just never really looked at the control schemes menu before. I did notice uh, one difference that is not... Okay, so... For a little bit of context, there was recently a huge dump of a bunch of prototypes of various PS1 games online. Uh, and there was a huge... Uh, like documentation process that the people who dumped it went through uh, so you can see the page for this game here oh well that link did not work but if you if you make that link work uh, you can see the page for it but anyway I noticed one difference already that that page did not note which is in the volumes menu um, the FX slider, if you pull it up and down, it normally, you can see here, it plays a sound when you stop sliding. In the finished game, it plays that shooting sound repeatedly as you're sliding it up and down. So that's one change already. They say on that page there are no gameplay differences. We'll see about that. I also just haven't watched all these cutscenes in a while, so... This is fun. Okay, let's see. Let's see if there's anything going on here. There are little details I'm noticing that I'm not sure. Not sure if those are differences or if I've just never noticed before. But on that loading screen, um, part of the water looked greener than I remembered. Bob just say later. Also, 
also, I suppose with the way I'm going to be playing... Um, I might just run into cutscenes that I've never seen, just because I don't usually move this way through the level. So, like, maybe Bob saying later was in reference to, uh... Was in reference to me going to the vid window area, and that's just a normal thing to say. Invincibility also didn't play out the way I remember, but... But that also might just be because I haven't gotten the invincibility in a long time in the main game. He said it again. He said later on shooting the turret. That's not a thing he does in the game. Hold on a second. I'm keeping a little notepad document of things I'm noticing. I haven't really looked at these ads before either. I mean, I've looked at some of them, but not many of them. Yeah, that's fine. Beautiful. Gameplay differences? Could it be? But yeah, in the bottom left here, I don't remember this chunk of the, uh, the, the water being so green. But I, I could just be wrong about that. You know, I'm just gonna come back with the blaster. Okay, Bob, you can, you can stop that now. Oh yeah, I should check that. way to check it. I guess... Yeah, I guess I can just take a bunch of damage right now. Oh god. Oh crap. Come on. Okay, okay. Cool down, cool down.
There's a sound effect playing when I crouch. That's not in the main game. Or in the, the finished game. Oh, uh, I think we're calling off that bet. find out if the glitch is in this because I failed to do the glitch completely. It's fine. I can look around up here, I guess. Part of me also just feels like the game controls worse, but I think that's just because I'm on emulator and I'm not accustomed to the uh, the input delay yet. Hey, Muzz. Muzz, how are the Oscars? Hope you're having fun. Hey, these actually work. Um, there's a small chance those boxes are changed. I've had trouble destroying those in the final build in the past. They were fun. That is good. I wonder if my parents watched them. Watching the Oscars used to be like a, a big family event thing in my family, but we just kind of stopped caring over the last few years. I say we stopped caring. It's probably in part because, like, my sister doesn't live in town anymore, and my brother, you know, has a child now, and so he's busy. Oh, but anyway, yeah, the, uh, box is up here. I don't remember being able to actually get up here from this side in the final build. I'm pretty sure they changed those boxes. Um, I'm not going to worry about testing the early tear glitch for now. I think I'm going to just try that on level 1 after I finish playing through the game. Kill you in one hit? Yep. Thanks. 
that. God damn it. Oh. Yeah, these controls are a little weird for me. Why did that blow up? Must have been a turret from over there shooting at it. Yeah, that turret. Uh... Is that the normal level 3 turret speed? Or the level 3 pistol speed? No, this is much better. I think it is. I think this is a much better version of the level 3 pistol. There's a lot of stuff I'm just gonna have to check with the final build at some point after I'm done. No, oh, get up there. The graphic. Just read the scripts. Classic Oscar. Yeah, I don't remember the pistol taking out turrets that quickly. Okay, good. That line is still in there. for the final build. Because it seems like the vampire just did a bunch of damage there. Nils and Town Square has green eyes like Nestor? That's good to know. Is Nils also... Does he... Does Nils... What color is Nils? I don't actually remember. Does Nils look like he might be a reskin of another dragon? <laughs> bad. That's never happened to me on the final build before. <laughs> Scales are a different pattern, I see. Don't fall, you idiot. God damn it. I'm having so much trouble just moving. Please jump up there, Bob. This is such an easy jump. Oh my god. Come on. How about this one? No, that's not as easy a jump. Never mind. Hey, Toop. Oh, 
How's the Spyro 2 Hippos percent world record holder doing? Okay, good, I got that. Got that so well. Yeah, I think we're probably good to just go in. It's going all right. I got my first vaccine dose today, so my arm's a little sore, but uh, I'm doing well other than that. I think I've already found a handful of differences between this prototype and the final game that are not on the wiki page for the prototype. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm actually going to drop a save state here once the level boots up. Um, just because this level can crash. Flamethrower is still a garbage weapon. Good to know. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game looks like it'd be really good if the controls made sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's the kind of game where the controls feel really good once you understand them. Um, but until then, it, it, it's not great. When, when you're still trying to figure it out, uh, yeah, it's, it's not the best. Um, hello. Is this hallway? This hallway's way wider! Oh my god, yeah, they changed that. actually get, thank you. That car is definitely clipping through that wall. That's neat, that's neat. No gameplay differences. I mean, 
I'm surprised they even made a comment on gameplay differences. Just because this game is ridiculously hard, I was surprised that anyone would have actually beaten it enough times to notice gameplay differences. Like, I'm usually willing to accept that there's some nerd out there for every game, and that I am not the expert on almost every game in existence, but I... I'd be surprised if somebody has played this game more than me. <laughs> this this is the only one where I'm pretty sure I've played this more than anyone else in the world. person good enough to finish this game. You're not wrong. <laughs> no, that's not true. Whoever did a long play for it finished it once. Oh, god damn it. There is one long play of this. There's at least one long play of this that you can find on YouTube. And whoever did that beat it. Stop! Oh my... Ooh, okay. Hey, fun fact. Um, I don't think this is a prototype thing. I think this is a normal bug in the game. I've run into this before. Can somebody clip... Starting from shortly before I fell off of the ledge and started flying. Can somebody clip that? This is a bug that I have wanted to get to the bottom of. That I have not been able to reproduce. Although, no, this might... This isn't acting the way the bug did in the final build. This might be a prototype thing. Um, but either way, I, I don't believe this is necessarily, necessarily a prototype thing. It's fine. I, I'll just highlight it later. I'll probably highlight this whole stream later. This is an interesting stream. An interesting enough one that I'm going to want to keep it, I think. Um, if I'm still flying, I'm going to go back to... I am! <sighs> okay, well... What the hell? Oh, yes, this is right up here next to the start, isn't it? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go back to my save state and play this level again. Um... Just because I, I don't want the infinite flight kind of in the way of, uh... I don't want that in the way of the rest of the game. <laughs> Thank you, Gulf. Please actually hit the enemy that's shooting at you. Bob. You know, personally, I feel like the tears are more aggressive than they are in the final build, but that also, that also could just be another thing where I'm not used to playing on Emu. Shoot. That's not 
great. That's fine. What am I saying? I'm not speed running. This is fine. I don't remember that being that pitch when the shot is charged up. So I'm gonna make a note about that too. That might also, uh... Blaster, that's the level one blaster. The great emu lore. what it is. It's exactly what the Great Emu War is. Oh, don't fall under that. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, yeah, we're actually fine. I am gonna snag the box gun before going to the vid window, though. flying boxes? No, it's the gun that puts bad guys in a box. I say bad guys. I suppose I could do it to the good guys, too. Oh, well, I missed. But I theoretically could. Hey, Jenny. Jump. Thank you. Jenny, you missed it. We ran into a glitch where Bob could fly as much as he wanted. I did it. finds a licensed game? You know, that's... I don't have an exact answer. I think in simplest terms, it's... Uh, oh god, hold on. Hold on, I gotta focus on this jump. And I failed the jump. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's a wall there. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This... Mm. This isn't good. Anyway, um... Oh, I went the wrong way. Fuck. In the simplest terms, I would call it a game uh, where the developers of the game do not own the property, I guess, that the game is based on. I guess is how I would phrase it. Yeah, like that. But that's also... I don't know that that's exactly right. Like, in terms of how that term is used, at least. I think that is a technically correct definition. But, like... 
I don't know. I don't know of any any examples that aren't that. Or any examples that are that that people would not call licensed. My brain is not coming up with any right now. Because, I mean, the, the other big thing about licensed games is people normally think of licensed games in terms of this property did not start as a video game. I mean, I would call the Tony Hawk Underground games... Would I actually... I was gonna say I would call them licensed games in that they are licensing the image and use of Tony Hawk. Oh, too. They 100% do. That's like exactly the kind of thing license a phone wants. Fun fact I played Reboot in the first license a phone. I think this would be the third one? you'd be submitting to? They're a pretty good marathon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it went well. The people running it... I mean, they didn't 100% have their shit together because it was the first marathon they had ever run, but they were nice about it and friendly enough and seemed well enough organized minus the kinks. Yeah, I, I would recommend it. Oh my god. Damn it. <laughs> Missed a ton of those rocket shots. Yeah, that boss felt exactly the same as normal. Yeah. Oh my god. That sounds about right, PC. <laughs> People did not like this game.
invisible. Oh, he went behind me. Okay. Sure. Um, please. Oh, God. There we go. Already, like, half dead. Beautiful. Not worth it at all. Cool. Bob, please stop turning and get in the middle of the water. Bob, please stop turning. <sighs> okay. Yeah, these tears are really strong. I don't think that's a prototype thing, though. Sometimes the tears just get like that. <sighs> okay, I absolutely need the invincibility. I am not getting through this without it. Okay, but go up, though, please. That's a bad angle. That's also a bad angle. <laughs> this reminds me of? This reminds me of how it felt playing the game right after I started running it. Oh, almost. Just every movement is difficult. Really hard to do anything that I want to. <sighs> Why are these angles not doing what I want them to? Stop going fucking sideways, god damn it. You want a nice diagonal angle relative to the slope, and I keep either going completely parallel to it or completely perpendicular to it. I want like, no, that's still not right. It's way too perpendicular. Also, why are these guys actually hitting me? The accuracy on the enemies in this game are usually terrible. They should not be hitting me enough to get... Oh, God. And that again. I am the only runner. I'm basically the only runner. Uh, somebody else made the SRC page and did a couple of ILs, but I'm basically the only runner. Uh, yeah, a couple people have shown interest. There are a handful of people in the Reboot Speedrunning Discord um, who are 
responsive when I talk about the game, so... There's that, at least. <sighs> very, very close. Okay, yeah, now that the enemies are gone, this should be a lot easier. Just because the game is lagging less now. Oh, oh wow. That... I thought that was gonna get it. Pepsi. Heart toast time. Yeah, okay. We could use some heart toast in, in these trying times. Ooh, Pepsi, what food do you come bearing? Um, I mean, not even really that crappy, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of just me. <laughs> it's me, and when I say things, other people say, Wow, that's really cool! Or whatever. But, uh, I think... Everything in this run I've come up with myself. I, I don't think there's anything anyone else has, has... I mean, there have probably been times that someone in my chat will say like, Hey, have you tried this? And I'll try it and it'll work. But in terms of somebody playing the game and finding something and showing it to me, that's never happened. I inspired noodles and tofu, ooh. Okay, so this jump is hard, but it's not this hard. So I'm not sure what's going on that's making me completely unable to do it. Is it just because of the issues I'm having with the movement, or is this a prototype thing? Uh, I watched that long play after I was, like, more than an hour better than it. Um, and I don't believe there was anything it did that made me change anything. to just skip this jump? No. No, I'm not. Because I'm amazing. you fall? Why did you just turn and fall? Um, was there a sound effect when it switched to the rockets? No, I, there probably wasn't. I, I think I was just hearing things. Oh, 
I don't remember these boxes sounding like this. I'm very dumb. You boy's a dummy. Nope. Oh, God. Yeah, I really hope... I really hope all of this is emu problems. And I'm not suddenly just really bad at this game again. Ah, this is level 8. Um, uh, it seems that way, Pep. No one... I, I think what I'm doing right now is basically the first time anyone has given a real look at this prototype. Um, it is from only, like, a week before the game came out. So I don't think there's going to be anything too major. I don't think there reasonably could be. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think it's mostly been uh, just audio stuff, for the most part. There was also a glitch I ran into that might be a prototype thing. Oh my god, Bob, hit the enemy that's in front of you and shooting at you. <laughs> Anyway, we, we had a bug earlier that might be a prototype thing, it might be an actual glitch that I can just recreate. I don't know. Um, so there might have been some, like, actual game things. That jump still works, that's good. But yeah, I, I think it's mostly just uh, audio stuff. Also some performance issues. Like you saw in the last level, the, the FPS dropped to like three seconds per frame when that Megabyte cutscene was playing. That effect looks different. Sprotodorn, is that an actual question? Because I have an answer. <laughs> There was a huge dump of a ton of prototypes recently. God damn it. Uh, hold on just a second. You can, uh, you can see a bunch there. It's a fun game, PC. It's, it's a fun game once you're good at it. <laughs> it feels really good to play once you're not constantly bumping into walls and failing jumps and stuff. When you're still having trouble doing anything, it can feel brutal, and it's very difficult. Uh, it's, it's just a really hard game on its own, even if you are good at the movement. Um, 
but if you enjoy difficult games, I think it's very good. Honestly, the camera's not that bad. I mean, I have not felt like the camera's been an issue at all in this game. I guess I can see people having issues with it, but I struggle to think of a game I run with a better automatic camera than this. I think every game I run, you either need to control the camera yourself, or it has an automatic camera, and that camera is bad. <laughs> oh yeah, in terms of, uh, in terms of targeting stuff, that can kind of suck. I guess I don't consider that a camera issue, I just consider that an, a, uh, an auto-targeting issue. Yeah, yeah, in that case, actually, that that is a, a notable problem, <laughs> and it is a problem a lot. A big part of the speedrun is just learning which enemies you don't have to worry about, because if you try to kill everything, you're going to waste a lot of time trying to hit things that Bob doesn't seem to want to target. Get up there. Yeah, and I mean, in general, it's better to ignore enemies and speed runs anyway, when you can. That's a piece of optimization that, uh, that I was probably going to have to figure out at some point anyway. I just ended up figuring it out specifically because of how much of a pain in the butt uh, combat in this can be. Please. Please. Oh god. <laughs> okay. What was Golf's question? Oh, what's the hardest game I've ever played? No, I missed your question. The hardest game I've ever played... The hardest game I've ever played, or the hardest game I've ever tried to speedrun? Oh, fuck. I... Oh, god. This is... This is gonna suck. Um, I think the hardest game I've ever played is getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Um, although... That might just be that the game is more frustrating than difficult. Because that game I played for like seven hours and then said, no, I'm done with this. I don't want to play this anymore. I'm not having any fun. Fuck this. And I made very little progress in it. Um... Any percent, I believe so, except you need to get a few of the eggs from Thieves and you need to flame Nasty. 
but I think that's all you need to flame in Spyro 1. Ah, why? <laughs> um, the hardest game I've ever tried to speedrun might be XCOM? That game was very difficult, and I could not beat it. <laughs> Although, it's it's weird to call that game hard, because so much of the difficulty just comes from strategizing. So, like, if I actually had a strategy already, I don't think it would be a difficult game at all. Um, in terms of difficulty of executing the gameplay, it, it's this. It, it has to be this. I can't imagine anything else coming close. Yeah, you know, I generally like hard games. It's not like the difficulty is what attracts me, it's just that frequently hard games had a certain amount of attention put into how the game feels to play. What a good video game. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, just I generally don't have a problem with hard games themselves, but getting over it was just not fun to play. Just not enjoyable on any level for me. the bomb cool see I believe the life is up here right yeah. oh my god Bob not helpful oh that that was my own hands being not helpful. That's fine. God.
Yeah, megabyte cutscenes in particular seem to just be dropping the game to like one FPS. Hey, you. Yeah. Oh, Bob, no. Please. I don't like the platforming in this level. That's not a prototype issue, that's not an e emulator issue, that's a this game is very hard issue. <sighs> Let's give it one more try. Also, why am I still hearing rockets being fired from over in that corner? Nothing over there should be firing rockets. Is that just the sound of the big enemy in the middle of the level? Okay, there you go. There you go. Might be. Oh, hey. Don't do that. Lesson learned. What's up, Jenny? What's with the... Uh, Oh? It, wait. What guy made your bed? What? Where are you? much more sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Golf and I had the same misunderstanding. <laughs> bed frame. Well then cheap doesn't look how it's supposed to. Ooh, yeah, that's not great. Um... That's not normal. Hold on. Um... Yeah, no, that's that's not good. I think you are right to want some kind of accountability for that. It's not perfect, but this boss fight's going on okay. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I kind of wanted that health, but whatever. Yeah, 
this one. I think you should go. Yep, Bob. I just tried to lift my arm. <laughs> that was a mistake. So, five, okay, five, five pips. Yeah, that makes sense. I will try to keep that in mind. Can I, you know what? I'm just gonna reload the level. This is one of those levels where if you catch the right cycle, it just goes by real fast. And if you mess up the cycle, it takes forever. So, just gonna start over. That seems, that seems reasonable. Wait, what? Oh crap. Didn't go far enough. Oh, why, Bob? Wide Bob. Can we get some white hunters in chat? <laughs> I'd really appreciate some white hunters. I don't know about you guys. Uh, yeah, this way. No! You jerk! It came up right in my way. need to see if there's any ammo around. Thank you, Gold, for the White Hunter. It is much appreciated. That's not ammo. There's ammo over there, though. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Please, please. Let's go. Let's go. Did you guys see that cycle? Did you guys see that I jumped out of that vid window? I didn't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Um... Thirteen. Classic, classic Bob stuff. Oh, I'm dead. I, this is death. I can't save this. 
It's doing that beautiful thing. Oh, hey, it didn't. Okay. Well, it was doing that beautiful thing where it was respawning me off a cliff. Which this game just kind of does sometimes, because it's such a fun, good game. Don't you guys love how fun and good this game is? You should miss shh. this game. God damn it. I was. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I was gonna say, well, you should miss sheep. That, that was the rest of that sentence before I just fell to my death. Doesn't matter. It doesn't take long to get back here. I just feel dumb. How are you, Eliza? I was not going to swear. Nuh uh. You don't know. Nuh uh. <laughs> you saved us, Guardian. That was easy enough. Its name is Bob, you know. His name is Bob, you know. I love that line. That line is so well delivered. boss fights then. Please get the ammo. There we go. That cutscene isn't in the final build. I, I don't think it is anyway.
noticed I was setting up for the death abuse glitch, which I am not doing. So good job, my brain. Oh god. Get up there, Bob. Bob. One might say. Oh no. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We're fine. It's okay. Let's get this life. Let's get this life because of how okay we are. I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to do this jump, now that I think about it. Come on, come on. I mean, given... Um, just given how all of the other platforming has been, I'm not totally sure I can make this jump. Which actually, oh, never mind. Never mind, forget I was saying anything. We're fine. Oh, thank God. What is hitting me? Is an enemy down there shooting at me? Honestly. Honestly, kind of impressive. What, because... What, because I'm on emulator? <laughs> Sound effect is different. The the movement things? Yes, I if that's what you're talking about, I agree. I, I think my difficulties with the movement is one hundred percent because Ooh, because I'm on emulator.
No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's. Oh no. Not again. I uh, I did it again. I've activated the flying glitch. Yeah, I think it is too. <laughs> Golf, that is awesome. Ah, oh, that reminds me, I need to play through Deadly Premonition sometime. Oh. That game also had controllable windshield wipers when you would drive a car. Turn, turn your body, turn. Oh, God damn it. Come on, come on. Be good now. Turn, Bob. Come on. Oh, Bob, why are you trash? There really isn't a better option than to just try this again. That's why I picked up a million lives. Um. God, I, I have one other potential theory for a bunch of the difficulty and changes that I've seen in this. But I'm not really sure how to check it. So I'm just going to check it after or I can only think of one way to check it so I'm gonna check it after I, I finish this run because I can do it on the first level easily but I will talk about that more once I actually get to it Scenes have been having uh, having issues. Hey, wait, seriously? No, 
No, that's not okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. We're, uh... We're going for it. That was really bad. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Please, please mend the tear. Bob, Bob. It's not funny. Bob, you're trash. I, I don't like you. Okay, never mind. Bob and I are cool again. Bob and I had a little spat there, but we're cool again. It's fine. You know what? Honestly, I should hang out in this corner. That's safer. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Shit. Yeah, uh, of course that was gonna happen. I didn't realize the ground ended there. I, I didn't want to run to my death like that. As surprising a fact as that may be. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Super leveled up. Level 27. Twenty seven percent milk. Ding, as some would say. Bring it on! Good, good delivery from whoever Bob's voice actor is.
Yay, we did it. We beat the whole game. Good job, everyone. They can finally get married. It just happened, now she's pregnant, wow. Good for them. Okay. Um, can I save? I guess I can. Neat. That means I can test the replay system. <laughs> No gameplay differences. No gameplay differences. <laughs> um, is it not obvious by looking at the screen right now? <laughs> Uh, the ring is not supposed to look like that. The ring around the, uh, the, the button. It's not supposed to look anything like that. Anyway, um... So here's the thing. I don't know. It occurred to me most of the way through the game that, uh... I don't know if this is the PAL or NTSC version of the game. There is no indication of that anywhere on the wiki page. And the only difference I know between PAL and NTSC is that tears take longer to spawn on PAL. So if this first tear spawns at about 30, it's NTSC, 36, it's PAL. This is the NTSC version. Okay, yeah. Um... There's just a bunch about this that's really strange, then. Neat. Neat. This is how the ring is supposed to look. So every time I've had the, um, every time I've had that glitch where Bob kind of starts flying, 
it looks like it's because Bob is trying to crouch well pressed against a wall. So I wonder if there's anywhere that I could just recreate that. Usually it's like, well, Bob falls off a platform very slightly. Like that kind of thing that I just did is the kind of thing that, that would trigger it. But when I did it back in this level, what really triggered it was when I pushed up against the wall after falling here. So I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, so that's cool. That's a long list of things that uh, that I can look at to see if there are differences. Just gonna throw another save state right there. Okay, let's see if there's anyone I can raid. Yeah, I'll raid Ghostly Trickster, who's doing Spyro 3 any percent right now. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a good night.